Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is a brand new M2 15 inch MacBook Air. Now when you first get a computer from Apple, there's a lot of features that you would think would be enabled by default, but they're not. So I'm gonna show you some of the very first top changes that you should make to your computer to make it feel more normal and have a better experience. First thing we're gonna do is when you first turn on your laptop, you're gonna notice how incredibly slow the mouse or the trackpad is. So we're gonna speed that up. You're gonna go over here, click the Apple, click System Settings, or you can use this icon down here at the bottom. Then you're gonna go down to Trackpad at the very bottom of this list, and you're gonna speed this up to whatever speed you prefer. I like to make it super, super fast. If you attach a Bluetooth mouse, then there's gonna be this option in the settings as well, mouse, and you can speed that up right here as well. The next thing is that for some reason, Apple does not enable a secondary click, like a right click on a mouse. So to fix that, you're gonna go into settings again, and go to trackpad. Down here, you see secondary click. To make that normal like other computers, go ahead and put that on click in bottom right hand corner. The other thing is that by default, Apple does not allow you to drag objects on the computer without pushing an actual button on the trackpad. To change that, we're gonna go to settings again, then you're gonna scroll up to accessibility, down towards the bottom, pointer control, then trackpad options. You're gonna to wanna to enable use trackpad Trackpad for dragging. I recommend keeping the dragging style as without drag lock so that it doesn't lock up when you're dragging. Also by default, when you scroll through pages on a Mac, the scroll bar on the side will tend to fade away. To change this so that it's always there for you to click on and use, go to settings again, go ahead and click on appearance, then change these two settings right here. Ch show scroll bars to always and click in the scroll bar to jump to the spot that's clicked. So those are some big features that I think most people will want to change. Next up, we have some quality of life features that will just make your experience much better. First off, if you scroll up with three fingers, you're gonna be in this space where you can add additional desktops. If you don't want Apple rearranging those desktops based on what they think is best, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go into settings again, click on desktop and dock, scroll towards the bottom, and you're gonna to wanna to toggle off automatically rearrange spaces based on most recent use. By default, the battery percentage is not displayed on your Mac. To change that, go again to settings, control center, scroll down to the battery section, right here and go ahead and enable show percentage. Your keyboard on your Mac is backlit and there's a way to change the brightness of that light behind your keyboard. To do that, go ahead and go into settings again, click on control center, scroll down towards the bottom to keyboard brightness and show in menu bar, toggle that on. That will put this little icon right up here and you can drag this slider to whatever you want to change the brightness of your keyboard backlight. You may have some preferences on how you want your clock to display on your Mac. To change this, go to the same section, settings, then control center, scroll down to the very bottom and click clock options. And then you're gonna see some settings that you can do here. If you want a 24 hour clock, you can do that. If you want digital versus analog, as well as AM, PM, if you wanna display the time with seconds, that is all right there. As you use your Mac, you're probably going to start to use AirDrop, which is a very handy feature that allows you to share things between your own devices and between your device and other people's devices. But by default, AirDrop is set to only be visible to your contacts, which if you're sharing to someone that's not in your contacts, it makes it a little bit difficult. To change this, you're gonna to wanna to go into settings again, then go ahead and click general, AirDrop, and handoff. This will say contacts only, go ahead and change that to everyone. That way everyone can see you, everyone can share stuff with you. Don't worry though, if someone tries to share something with you that you don't know, you still have to accept it, which means that you can obviously decline it or reject it as well. Next up is the display. So let's change some settings so that the display is more friendly. Again, go over here, system settings, scroll on down to your lock screen. Right here, you're gonna see some times that you can change. This will adjust when the display turns off when your computer isn't active. You can change that for battery as well as when it's on the power adapter. By default, I believe it's something like two or three minutes. Go ahead and change these to whatever works for you. In general, I find that five to 10 minutes is a pretty good number. That way the display will not constantly keep blacking out on you as you're working. Then let's scroll on up over here in the settings to displays. Right here you can adjust if you want the brightness to automatically adjust or not. 
I like this feature, some people don't, so you can toggle that on and off depending on your preferences. The next thing to look at is True Tone. Go ahead and toggle that on and off to see what you prefer. You're gonna find that if you have that off, it turns a little bit more blue, perhaps a little bit more harsh on the eyes. True Tone sort of matches the light and color to your environment. I like True Tone. Enable or disable it, whichever you prefer. Down at the bottom of your screen, this is the dock. When you first turn on your Mac, there's gonna be a lot of features that potentially, applications that you're potentially not gonna really be using. Go ahead and right click any app that you don't think you're gonna want, click options and remove from dock to go ahead and get rid of that. In the same way, go ahead and click on the magnifying glass up here, go ahead and type the name of the app that you would like to have in your dock. And then if you hit that and open the app, then you can right click this, options, keep in dock, and then you can drag that icon to wherever you want it in your dock. So go ahead and clean up the dock to however you want it and get rid of the apps that you don't want, add the apps that you do want. You can also adjust the size of the dock by going right here, clicking, and then moving it up and down to whatever size matches your style. The next thing we're gonna look at is changing some finder settings. Now, these are things that you might not notice to be beneficial right off the bat. However, further on down the road, when you install stuff and whatnot, I almost guarantee you that you're going to appreciate these changes because it makes it easier to find stuff. So go ahead and click on finder on your dock, or you can open any folder, it'll do the same thing. Go ahead and go up to finder in the menu bar, click settings. Here's where you can change some settings for Finder. Go to sidebar first. This is where you can change everything that is displayed over here in your folders. By default, your home folder, as well as this location for your computer are not checked. I recommend checking that. This one allows you to access your music, movies, downloads, pictures, public, your actual folder here. A lot of times when you're saving stuff, if you're not careful, things will by default save over here. And if that happens and you can't find it, then you're able to easily access this folder to go get it. The other thing is this location for your actual computer. When you click on that, you have the option to go into the drive. From here, you can see all the good stuff like the library and all of these settings and folders and whatnot in that folder. Not very often will you have to access that, but every once in a while you will want to get access to it. And now it's displayed in your sidebar. Some settings over here in advanced, you can go ahead and click on that. If you want to remove items from the trash after 30 days by default, you can go to enable that. Some people like it, some people don't. Also, when you search in a folder, you can change it to search the whole entire Mac when you search or just search the current folder that you're in. Most people prefer to search the current folder, but change that to whichever you prefer. Next, if we click on tags, if you look over here on the side, there's a bunch of tags. Now, I don't use tags. I don't think most people use tags. So I would recommend just go ahead and removing all of these. That way, your sidebar over here is nice and clean and it doesn't have all those tags with the colors on it. Cleaning up the toolbar is next. So if you go ahead and click in Finder or open any folder, right click up here, Customize Toolbar. Here you have a bunch of icons that you can add or remove from the toolbar. By default, there's a number of icons up here that you're probably not really gonna use. So you can go ahead and take those and drag them over here if you don't want them. In the same way, if you want something that's here, you can go ahead and take it and bring it over like that and add it. The ones I recommend you adding are AirDrop, put that right there, as well as share. That way you can easily access that and share stuff that you're trying to share. The other thing that's a handy feature is if you kind of want to organize your toolbar and add some spaces, you can take a space and add it in right there or wherever you want so that when you click done, there's some significant space right there. It keeps everything a little bit more clean. The Apple internet browser is called Safari. Go ahead and click on Safari and there's some changes we can make here. The first thing is that you wanna probably get rid of ads when you watch videos or when you scroll the internet. I highly recommend downloading AdGuard for Safari. So go ahead and click in the app store, go ahead and search for AdGuard. And then you're gonna to wanna to download this one right here. And then here is that app for AdGuard. You can change what it filters out if you'd like to as well as change some rules on there. But that way when you watch YouTube videos or when you scroll the internet, you won't be constantly annoyed with constant ads.
The last suggestions I have are a couple things that may not apply to everyone, but they may be helpful if you do fit into this category. So if you use Apple Watch, then you're gonna probably wanna enable it so that your Apple Watch, if you've unlocked it, can unlock your computer so that you don't have to do the fingerprint or put in your password. To go ahead and change that, go ahead and click up here and go ahead to system settings again, touch ID and password over here on the side. Go to the bottom and see Apple Watch and then slide to enable that. And the last suggestion I have for you is if you have a Apple mouse as well as some updated Apple devices and you wanna be able to use that mouse between both devices and have basically multiple screens and be able to switch from one screen to the other screen from your iPad to your MacBook easily with absolutely no delay, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and enable that. So go ahead and go over to settings again, go ahead and go to displays, click advanced at the very bottom and then make sure all three of these middle ones are enabled. And those are the suggestions I have to you to make the experience a little bit better when you first get your 15 inch M2 MacBook Air, as well as any other MacBook computer, you can do the same thing with these. If you guys found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing if we haven't met. My name is Zach, I like to make videos about tech and new products and all things Apple for the most part. So if you're interested in seeing more videos from me, again, consider subscribing. I appreciate you guys being here and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.